Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's me, G6 Sniper here, and I'm back with another gameplay commentary for you guys. Today's gonna be a bit of a different one, though. Today, I'm gonna finally get my review on Battlefield 2042. So, I went ahead and bought this game pre release. I bought the Ultimate Edition, everything. And, I don't know. I guess my short review is I'm just really disappointed. Um, I know it's kind of negative, but. Well, let's just get into it. So first off, starting with 2042, let's just talk about the main game. Not Portal, not Hazard Zone, but the main, you know, all-out warfare and breakthrough modes. So they decided to go away from classes and they went with these specialists or heroes, whatever you want to call them. And then they went ahead and doubled the player count from 64 players to 128 players. And then they would decided to completely get rid of the teamwork aspect by not only getting rid of voice chat, scoreboard, and the ability to see, you know, your actual changing squads and changing, you know, teams and everything like that. They got rid of all of it. Um, and they went with this hero shooter where everyone can use any weapon and any gadget and there's no limitations whatsoever on paper originally when i saw the pitch for 2042 i thought it was going to be a lot different i thought the way it sounded was they were going to have these heroes that are specialists that were split up into classes and then the classes were based off of the traditional you know medic assault recon engineer instead we get this where there's no limitations and everyone's basically a one-man army i really don't like that about this game that's one thing that's really off-putting to me and then now they went ahead and doubled the player count from 64 to 128 to me this feels like it's just clustered there's really no you don't feel like you're impactful when it comes to playing this 128 player conquest map that is literally so huge that they decided to implement a call-in system for vehicles where you can call in a jeep because you're all the way across the map while your teammates are you know on one half and then the third guy is you know camping in the back just sniping everyone this battlefield game I don't know what they were thinking, why they decided to deviate from what they already had working for them. But I know that a lot of the developers who worked on the original battlefields that we grew up with, or I grew up with essentially, don't work at DICE anymore. And I know that EA bought, bought out DICE, so that's probably another reason why they decided to just go with what's popular, which is a hero shooter, no limitations, and I guess a battle royale, kind of. From what I heard, that's what this game was originally going to be. And then halfway through, they scrapped it and made that a secondary, which is Hazard Zone. And then they decided to bring in Portal at some time, which I'll get to the other two modes here in a second. But before we get into that, I wanted to say that the feel of this game, it doesn't feel not only does it not feel like a battlefield because of how it operates, basically, but just the way that it the movement for one it feels so unpolished like there's no weight to the characters there's no weight to your gun there's no it feels like you're shooting a pea shooter half the time and then your bullets don't even register and then the movement is just so unfinished the animations are really wonky there's a lot of visual bugs and glitches and it just doesn't feel like a battlefield game at all and that's why i really don't care for the main mode i don't play it a lot you guys will probably see a more content from me being portal content than the actual, you know, breakthrough conquest um, or all out warfare in this case, because that's what they're calling it now. Um, game modes, unless they bring back 64 players, which I did hear that they did do. So I might try it out and see. But overall, the specialist just really didn't work out, especially when it came to the beta, because I did play in the beta for this game. I know I didn't record anything, but. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like Battlefield. It felt really, really weird. And I'm just sticking to Portal for right now. So moving on to Hazard Zone, I guess, which is the second game mode in this that they give you. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, that game's pretty laughable. I feel like that was the main game, and then they threw it just to the wayside, and now it's just where it is right now. There's really no no drive to play that mode. It doesn't feel like you're earning anything or like it's even worth going through trying to find a lobby. It's literally dead right now. Like, I've tried. I tried once to find a lobby after I played it the first time, which the match lasted like 10 minutes, and that was it. And it was the dumbest matches I've ever had. And then it's just been like a ghost town since then. So I'm pretty sure Azure Zone's pretty much dead on, on launch for when it comes to that. But... So that's my thought on that. It was pointless. It's a dumb idea. It was executed really poorly. It wasn't a dumb idea, but it was executed really poorly. Um, if they tweaked it a lot, like they'd have to overall hazard zone pretty much to get anyone reinterested in the mode. But that's basically my thoughts on hazard zone. Um, moving on to portal though. So this was actually my when I saw the trailer for Portal Battlefield Portal. I was absolutely astounded but after watching the trailer and seeing you know gameplay of it and then actually playing it myself that's honestly one of the only modes that I'll play right now when it comes to this new 2042 game I don't want to touch the specialists I don't want to touch the those insanely large maps I like my 64 player classic feeling battlefield with this game you know, it feels more like Battlefield when you play Portal, especially when you play on like the Conquest. Uh, there's right now the highlighted Portal modes are are uh, all out or no, not all out, but it's like um, it's basically like Rush and Conquest from all the past Battlefields with the classes, 64 players, the old movement where you could only sprint and you know crouching and going prone. Uh, in some cases, you can't even go prone. I think it's like 1942, some of those ones. No, you could go prone in 1942. Or Bad Company 2 is the one you couldn't go prone in. But um, just playing those modes, it feels a lot more like Battlefield. And that's what I'm really excited for, is playing those modes. So you guys will definitely see a lot more Portal content coming from me. Um, I probably won't play anything else. But I really hope that they add more content for Battlefield Portal because that's what I'm looking forward to. I hope they add more maps from, you know, even older games like Battlefield 2 or newer ones like Battlefield 4, maybe Battlefield 1 and, you know, 5, but mainly Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 2 um, and Bad Company 2 because those were my favorite games. Um, Battlefield 3 was also my, one of my favorite games, but I liked uh, Bad Company 2 and um, Battlefield 4 a little bit more than 3. But those were the games that make it Battlefield Battlefield. Like, that's why I love those modes. Because it feels like a Battlefield game. The new 2042 just doesn't... The Outlaw Warfare and Breakthrough just doesn't feel like Battlefield at all. And that's what it's really become. I don't know what made them deviate from what they already had working for them. They decided to try and follow something that was supposedly popular. But... When it comes to Battlefield, that's not what people think of, you know. The fact that they took out the scoreboard too, um, and, you know, you can't see how well you're doing compared to, you know, you can see your squad, but you can't see, you know, the rest of your team or the enemy team even, why they're doing so good, maybe what they're doing, you know, differently than you. There's no information when it comes to any of that. It's literally just, you know, you guys have seen me pull up the scoreboard here. You can't see any information. You can't chat to everyone. You can't, you know, talk in the game. It just, I don't know why they took all of these features that people have basically expected from a Battlefield game. And they're just like, you know what, we're just not even going to deal with it right now. It's like, that's for a later date. Those are legacy features. It's like, what? And then the ability to, you know, like actually bring up your mini map, changing the zoom on your mini map. How is that like a legacy feature? That's literally been in every single Battlefield game, probably, I think even since like the first Battlefield, since 1942. I don't know why they decided to not implement that. And then, you know, the additional features that Battlefield 4 brought in, you know, changing the icons on your screen and being able to, the opacity and, you know, all that other customization. I mean, right now you guys can see that I changed some of it, the, like the coloring. I changed the coloring back to what uh, Battlefield uh, play for free hat for its coloring so you know enemies are orange my color is gold uh, or my squad is gold and then you know teammates will be like all a light blue i like that that ability to change the coloring for that but other than that 
there's really not a lot of customization when it comes to this game and then just the inputs too everything just feels really just clunk not even clunky it just feels unpolished and then like the mouse input i feel like that's like a, that was like a second thing that they decided to do like they like threw mouse and keyboard to the side and made it mainly a console game which i don't know why they did maybe it is because you know it is harder to find you know good hardware for pc gaming and with how badly optimized this is i mean it doesn't run any better on a console though especially the older consoles like playstation 4s i've seen people dip in like the 30s and the 20s when it comes to this game and it's just so poorly unoptimized just just one of the things that get me is that people think that they can just release these games AAA studios can release these games in basically indie developer stages and they're like we they expect people to pay full price for the game I mean I'm not going to refund it I'm going to wait and see I do think that Battlefield Portal for this game could be the best Battlefield game ever but it's going to take a lot of work they're going to have to do a lot of overhauling and adding to the game to actually get it to that point again I mean it's just really disappointing having to wait but I'm gonna see where this goes I'm gonna stick with it you guys will see more Battlefield gameplay from me I'm gonna be doing Portal though if you guys really want to see all at Warframe Breakthrough I'll touch it up I'll touch it I'll try playing it but mainly I find myself playing Portal a lot nowadays especially when it comes to like ranking up because Portal I know that they shut it down for a while when it came to ranking up but they brought it back so you can actually you know rank up in the game so but anyway we're getting to the end of this commentary overall i'm kind of disappointed but we'll see where it leads as you guys can see i did fall short though i was one kill away but anyways i'll see you guys in the next gameplay peace <laughs>